Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to my first, well, not my first, but my first one in quite a while live from Buenos Aires. Today, we are going to talk about the five tips for network marketing success. And if you hear this and you say, I'm not in network marketing, hang on and listen. If you are in any form of business, especially a small business entrepreneur, you should listen to this as well because it, these are great tips from Brian Tracy. Very elementary, but really good stuff. So. Um, after flying through the night from La Jolla to Los Angeles on Tuesday night, and yesterday flying from um, Los Angeles to Atlanta, and then last night from Atlanta direct to Buenos Aires, got here earlier today, got checked in, got a massage, got a pedicure, uh, took a nice lunch, rested a little bit, just chilled, and tomorrow I'm meeting up with 57 other of my Quizula Old Crocs boys, and uh, we are going to be having lots of fun, playing two rugby games, doing some rugby golf, sightseeing, and all of the above. Taking time off here, um, letting this uh, chemical peel heal on my face and therefore not shaving for a couple of weeks and that's all good, right? <laughs> we all know Brian Tracy, if you don't <laughs> and you are in business and you do personal development, um, then uh, this is somebody you should check out and if you have never checked him out, you should check him out as well. Brian has um, been around forever, one of the classic sales relationship in marketing experts out there. So we are talking in here's five tips, network marketing tips from Brian Tracy. So the first one, in, and of course this is not a tip, it's just know what, whatever you are doing, what it is that you're doing, whether it's network marketing or MLM, multi-level marketing, or whether you're an Airbnb or you're an, uh, <laughs> you are uh, in a restaurant business, know what it is that you are into and knows the ins and outs of it. So the first tip, you know, is find a good company to be involved with. If you start your own company in regular business, um, of course, <clears throat> your product and service has to resonate with what you're doing. Um, you can be successful and, and, and excited about what you're doing, but if you're not passionate about your product or service, you are not going to long-term succeed. There's got to be some kind of passion. You say to me, well, I make money and over first, I guess I like doing pharmaceuticals. <laughs> um, you have to have some passion for it. Otherwise, you would not be that good in what you do and make money hand over fist. If you are a network marketer, a company that has a good pay plan, but most of all, a product and a service that you can identify with. But I'm going to go one step ahead of Brian and say find one that, y that you like the culture of the company that you are with. Um, whether it is my buddy Steve Wasmer joining, like the culture of JL Farm Equipment that he's working at. He loves the product, I know that, but he's got to love the culture where he's at as well. You know, find the right culture. Otherwise, you'll never be totally, totally happy. Number two, take advantage of all available training. You know, your company will make training available, the product or service, if that's from somebody else, will make training available. And if you are a total entrepreneur, like a lot of us are, there are training available, whether it is just going on YouTube and finding it, or reading a book, um, or listening to something on Audible. I read, listen to something every day on Audible. I'm busy going through the secret again, and i um, gonna start with the 12 Secrets for Life. Um, currently, um, I'm reading up on, on different forms of digital marketing online. So f do the, you don't have to do all the trainings, but make sure you are up to your game and that you, that you know what you're doing, what you're talking about, be competitive. The world changes. You know, we all have to be on, on, on top to be able to do, to do really well. And if you are not trained properly and you don't know um, what's going on in your industry or in your service or your product, 
then uh, you will lag behind. Um, with, for the people that are network marketing, companies give all the training out there. So, you know, jump into that. And with that said, attend events. Number three, develop relationships with fellow marketers. And for any business that goes as well, de develop relationships with the people that are in ranks or in levels be below you um, or in position. And so also with the people above you. And then develop relationships with marketers across, whether it's a uh, developing relationship with another salesman or me with another network marketer, but also develop relationships in your general field. So in I'm just gonna use a simple example in Steve's case, develop relationships with the Farm Bureau guys, with the the the, the with the, the fertilizing salespeople, with the people that's in the chemical industry, develop relationship with them. For me, develop a relationship with people doing digital marketing, with other network marketers, with people that are just entrepreneurs and have the drive and mindset. Hi, Cherise, how are you? Um, I have to say, I don't look too bad for uh, two nights of flying in a row, huh? <laughs> My buddy is joining from the Sheraton, or she's probably not, maybe she's at the Sheraton, not the Sheraton now, but from the Sheraton she works at, where I work as well, in beautiful Kauai. It, it's so, so critical to develop marketing relationships everywhere and to network. And you know what? Network marketing gets its name or multi-level marketing became network marketing because of the networking that people do with people they know, whether it's in social media or in person. Um, but it's true for everyone. Number four, and this I specifically speak to network marketers um, and people who's, who's starting in a job and kind of new, treat your business as a business. Have a plan. Have a, have a business plan, have a calendar, have a schedule of things that you do. Write what you can of taxes. Follow it and be a professional in what you do. Commit all in. You want to say to yourself, all in, all the time. When you take time off, you're off. But when you're in, you're in. Be where you are is a classic thing that, uh, that Jim Rohn says. Um, and Brian Tracy goes right along with it. Focus on where you are in the moment and do the best that you can. Um, you know, if you um, <clears throat> if you are not treating it as a business, and so many <clears throat> excuse me, so many network marketers, especially or people start a job, and I've seen it so many times. They work two weeks, three weeks, maybe a month. They're done. You know, because they haven't given it even a fair chance. So decide. That's why you got to know what you're getting involved with. And then you've got to follow these rules and then go for it. You know, do what you have to do to be able to treat it as a business. Even if you are in a job that you work hourly, if you treat it like a business and you go the extra mile, you will get more hourly wages or be promoted, whatever it is that you do. And uh, number five, and this is so classic, you know, um, now in today's age, use the internet, you know, use the internet to promote. I highly recommend what I teach people in my coaching of, uh, making videos, getting it out on social media, uh, building your own brand. Now and then you might talk about your product or service, but the biggest mistake that people make is that they spam their followers and especially their friends with the products or service. People, social media is, is relationship marketing. And so when you are popping up in there, you are interrupting them. They want to be interrupted by what you are doing. They don't want to be interrupted by uh, you trying to sell them something. In this case, I'm giving something for value. People want to hear that. If it's an ad, people can see it's an ad and they can click on it because it's interruption marketing. Do not spam. Um, if you have people that you want to talk to about your business or service, Text them or call them or send them a Facebook message in private. Don't write in their wall. Don't make comments on what they post and trying to promote your service or if they, you think they could be a good fit for you. Or if they have a John Deere co combine, go say, in there, hey, I've got a new case IH combine in Steve's case. Mine is better. Come check it out. What Steve would do, he'd probably know that guy and give him a shout and say, hey, man, congratulations on your new combine. I, know, I hope you're really happy with it. And remember, I'm always here to help you and add your service. That is all you need to say. That's how you build the relationship. And 
<laughs> I'm using Steve as an example today because I know him really well. He's my friend, but he knows how to do this right. You know, <clears throat> don't spam people, but use the use YouTube. Uh, put your videos out there. Um, even better if you can have a blog and create a blog with this video in a blog and also a mailing list, an email list where you can send out one or two of your trainings or your experiences to your clients and build your list. There are so many different ways I teach people how to do that and that's not what I'm talking about here. What I'm, what, this is just get yourself out on social media. Get your brand out so people will see you and know what you do without having to spam them. You know, So there are your five tips from Brian Tracy. Number one, I'll go over it real quick again. Um, choose the right company with the right uh, products and services that you can be passionate about. Take um, advantages of all available training. Develop a relationship with fellow marketers. Uh, number four, um, treat your business as a business. And number five, use the internet wisely and use it, but don't spam. If this is giving you some great value and you would like to know more on how to talk with people, um, I've developed a seven-step social media recruiting blueprint, which has the, the, the basics of any kind of product or service. Yes, it's geared for network marketing, but anyone can use it. And it's totally free at, the link will be in the post, smrecruitingblueprint.com, SM for social media. Go ahead and grab that, it's absolutely free. It will really help you to talk to other people, teach you how to do proper takeaways, and not your waste some time by following up all the time. From Buenos Aires, I am going to go look for some Malbec and some steak, maybe a beer. And then I'll catch up with you on and off during the next week or so of our rugby tournament. Um, I wish you all of the best. And remember to tap the screen and give us hearts and likes. And please share if this gave value to you. Aloha. You can find more great branding, marketing, and prospecting tips just like these over at johanvenardi.com. And remember to pick up a free copy of his daily four-step Aloha Laptop Lifestyle Cheat Sheet. We'll see you over there.